In a previous video, which I've linked here and below, I showed you how to use Wi-Fi to crack a WPA encrypted wireless network. However, when Wi-Fi started up, we were told that there was software that was missing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot issues with Wi-Fi. I'm gonna show you how to install the missing software. I'll also show you how to fix other issues that you may encounter when using Wi-Fi with Kali Linux. First thing is if you type sudo Wi-Fi, and you have this issue where it says, exception, mmonng, did not find any wireless interfaces. That's probably because the Wi-Fi interface hasn't been picked up. I'll just make this slightly smaller. And I'll run that again. Notice we've got a loopback interface and an ethernet interface. No Wi-Fi interface has been picked up by this virtual machine. And that's because I didn't select removable devices, and I didn't connect my Wi-Fi network card. So now that I've connected that, type IP address again. Hopefully what we'll see is the Wi-Fi interface, and there you go, WLAN zero. So that interface has been discovered. So I'll run the software again. Here we told that we need to run it as sudo. So that's another thing to remember. I've run it as sudo now, and I'm getting these errors. That software hasn't been found. I'm gonna press Control C to stop the application. We're told that this software hasn't been found, Pirate. We've got a HCX dump tool and a HCX PCAP tool, and we're given URLs to download the software. So what I've done is put all the commands below this video to make it easier but I'll show you now how to install the software. The easiest one to start with is HCX dump tool and then HCX tools. And then there are quite a few steps to get Pirate up and running. So first thing is, can I ping google.com to confirm that I have internet connectivity? Answer is yes, I have internet connectivity, so that's good. So sudo apt update to update my references. Make sure that you update your references before you install the software. Just from a troubleshooting point of view, if you go to player, manage, virtual machine settings. At the moment, my virtual machine is configured to use NAT. Now that should work fine. That allows the virtual machine to get access to the internet, but it doesn't allow me to remotely connect to the virtual machine. So you might wanna rather use bridged. So set to bridged, reboot the virtual machine if necessary so that you are connecting this virtual machine directly on your local network rather than using NAT. Basically, this laptop is NATing or using network address translation to give this virtual machine access to the physical network. Okay, so I've updated my references. And now I can install the HCX dump tool. So you can use the command sudo apt install, type the first few letters, Press tab to see the options. Notice I've got two options here, and what I'll install is the HCX dump tool. So that's now been installed. Do that again, so sudo apt install HCX tab. And I wanna install the HCX tools. Okay, so that's now been installed. So now if I type sudo Wi-Fi, Notice I'm told that pirate hasn't been found. I'll press Control C here and Control C again to exit. So this application is missing. The other two applications have now been installed. So this application is a little bit more difficult to install. We've got to use these commands. And rather than me manually typing out the commands, I'm gonna simply copy and paste them into Kali so that you can see the steps. And again, I've put the commands below this video so that you can copy them. Okay, so first thing is install libpcapdev. So clear the screen and I'll paste that command in. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna copy this command, sudo apt install python 2.7 dev lib ssl dev and some other software this is optional but i would recommend that you install this on 2020 like i'm doing here i'm using 2020.4 here and this worked for me so should work for you 
I'll paste that in. Say yes to install the software. Again, while that's installing, I'll get the command to clone the software from GitHub. Okay, so that software is installed, paste this command in. So now we're cloning the actual pirate software from GitHub that's been downloaded. So I can go to the directory. So if I type ls here, I've got that directory there. So cd pirate, and I'll just change my file because that's uppercase. And then what I need to do is use Python to clean up my script. And then build pirate. That's now been built. And then I want to install it. Okay, so hopefully now, when I run the software, I won't get any errors. I press Control C again. So do that twice to stop the script. So notice we don't have any missing software, but we're told that we may want to use the kill option. So when you run the software, you could run it just like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify WPA because I don't want to worry about web. There are no web networks around me. This script can attack all networks and try and crack all networks, starting with the one that has the highest power. So closest network to you basically is the one it's going to try and attack first, and then it'll go through all the options to try and break all networks that it sees. That's fine, but it takes a long, long time. So you might not want to do that. I'm also going to specify that the dictionary that I use is my local dictionary. I'll go to my home directory. In my home directory, I've got this file. So sudo wi WPA, dictionary, Wi-Fi pass, dot text. And I'm gonna use the kill option to make sure that it kills any processes running in the background. Okay, and I made a typo there. That should be dash dash dictionary. Okay, so there you go. It's killing two conflicting processes. It's stopping network manager. It terminated the conflicting process. We are targeting WPA encrypted networks and we're using this word list. So scrolling down, I want to attack this network, number five. So I'm going to say number five. And again, that wireless network has a wireless password of secure123. So I'm going to press enter now. Now this, again, will go through all the different options to try and hack that network. That's going to take a long time. So I'm going to press Control c to show you this in real time. Say C to continue, so I've stopped the first attack. Four attacks are remaining. I'll press Control c again. C to continue, three attacks are remaining. So Control c to break an attack, C enter to continue with the next attack. Control c here, C to continue. Now this attack didn't work previously because I hadn't installed the correct software. So this attack is now running, but I'm gonna stop that as well and just continue to the last attack where it does a WPA handshake capture and it listens for clients. It sees one client, it's sending deauths to the client, deauthenticating the client. Sending broadcasts. So what I'll do here as an example is refresh the page on my Mac that's connected to that network. Actually, what happened is it got bounced. So I'll connect it back to the TP-Link network. And you can see that when I connected it back, the handshake was captured. And now it decrypted the password to secure one, two, three. Okay, so I've shown you a lot of options in this video. In its most basic form, you type one command, and that runs a whole bunch of applications through the Python script that launches attacks against a Wi-Fi network. You can specify options, for instance, to only use WPA to kill any 
processes that may interfere. You can get it to use a huge word list that comes pre-built with Kali. I've also shown you how to solve multiple issues, like with missing software, how to download that software on a 2020 version of Kali. Now again, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal. I want to wish you all the very best. I've been